I know when you and I were prepping, you know, for this call, you mentioned Jasper, you know, what are, what are some just other technologies that people that want to, you know, I know there's things out there that will create images. I, yeah. I think, you know, I, yeah. I heard in an interview that models are not going to be a thing in the future because you can just make an AI generated um, image. You know, what are some things that loan officers, mortgage executives can go in and log in and, you know, free tools, uh, or very inexpensive tools? What are some? Yeah. Lists? So, I mean, just to get a feel for this stuff, right? So you you understand what the capabilities are now and you can start to project, oh my God, this is what's coming and fast. Um, certainly play with chat GPT. Uh, if you have a Mac, if you have a Macintosh, a lot of people do, uh, there's a free app you can download or you, actually, you can pay whatever you want for it. Uh, it recommends, I think, seven euros, um, but you can pay whatever you want, whatever you think it's worth. Mac GPT. And it gives you a front end app that allows you to play with chat GPT on your Mac. So start there. It's really fun. And you can actually use it for some interesting things. Um, there are companies like um, copy.ai and Jasper. Uh, Jasper and copy.ai, they both specialize. And there are a number of others in, in this realm. Uh, they specialize in creating copy. So for blogs, for um, um, you know, advertising copy for email blasts, that sort of thing, it will write them for you. And you just tell it what you're looking for, give it some inputs, and then it squirts out the other end and it's done. And, you know, you'll be surprised it's 95% of the way there. And it may actually make your writing and your output better. So it certainly will make your marketing department more efficient, um, allow them to create more content, and may even increase the quality. So there was a study done by um, MIT uh, it was released back on March the 2nd, and I can't remember the title of the report, but essentially they were looking at um, people using ChatGPT and seeing if it was increasing their productivity. And what they found was it was boosting people's productivity by 40% and increasing the quality of their output by 20% or more. Now, that's a small study, not peer-reviewed yet, but it gives us an indicator of where this is going. So you should definitely be looking at these tools, try ChatGPT, um, try Bard, that is in, um, I think it's in limited release right now. So you have to sign up to join the beta test, but I, I signed up and I was, I got it within a week. So you can try Bard as well, which is Google's response to ChatGPT. Um, Google's taking a more cautious approach, um, which is why they're probably a little bit behind, I would say, versus where OpenAI is, but, uh, you know, don't bet against DeepMind and Google. They'll come roaring back. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, other things you might want to try, and it's really fun. Um, I was visiting some artist friends uh, a few weeks ago, and they have a studio in their house. And we decided, let's go do some painting together. And so my idea was, well, let's use AI to generate some images and use those as inspiration for our paintings. And so we went on to um, Mid Journey. Mid Journey is a little tricky to use, but it is the best of the image generators. So midjourney.com, again, I think you have to sign up to become a beta tester. You have to use it through a chat platform called Discord, which makes you a little bit of a barrier, but you can just watch any a number of, of YouTube videos. It'll show you how to do it. You will get incredible images out of it. Um, one here, actually. <laughs> I decided I wanted to paint a robot uh, that was DJing. And this is the image that it created for me. That is amazing. Um, so Mid Journey is the best of them. Um, their latest version five just came out a couple of weeks ago. It's mind blowing. It will create visual images that look like photographs and it'll create images of whatever you want just by typing in a prompt. Um, if you want something a little easier to use, there's stable diffusion. Um, there are, crap, it'll come to me. Um, by the end of this, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. But there, there is a number of these image generators you can try. If you just Google, you know, free AI image generators, a list will come up and you're off to the races. Have fun with them. Some of the free ones are, I'll, I'll warn you, don't give you the best quality results. So don't judge them. Uh, don't judge the field of technology by what some of the free ones offer you. When you go on Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion, I think you get, you know, like with Mid Journey, you get 50 free goes uh, before they start charging you. So have a blast. It is the most fun you'll have in a long while.
Wow, what a great time to be alive. I mean, we are we are going through a digital revolution. 